Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing some last two centers on seven by seven example solves. So let's do it. All right. So the first step of last two centers on seven by seven is to make the middle bar or that's usually how I would do it. So I'm going to start by attaching this one to these two. So this middle piece needs to get attached like that. And then I can get this one and attach it like this. Put it down, move it out of the way slice back up. Now you have this middle one and now we need to make a bar next to it. So we have these two and these two and this one. So what we can do to pair these together is kind of think of it as five by five. So on five by five, these two pieces, we want to kick this one out. So like this, we kind of want to solve the middle first. So now we have this kind of shape and this is easily solved like this. Now we just insert it. And now we need to make one more bar over here. So this can be a little bit more difficult, but it shouldn't be too hard. So I'll just take these pieces and move them up and that attach this corner to it. And now I want to move all of this over here on the left side. So I'll just move it over to the left like that, just so it's easier to attach stuff to it. And now we have this piece that we can just slice up to here, move the bar out of the way and then come back down. Now we just attach this one over here. And now we need to make one more bar over here. So let's just think of this as five by five first. So for this case on five by five, when you have this and this here, and then this piece right here, you can just do this to make one big bar like this. And now uh, you'll notice that it's just these three. And then we just need to attach two more on the sides here. But luckily this one already got attached. So now we just need one more to be attached, which can be this one. Oh, whoops, this doesn't go here. <laughs> so we can do this one. So this one, move, move it like this here. And now it's paired. Now we just move it in. And now this is where a lot of people tend to have a lot of trouble. The way that you do this is you always have to think of it as you need to get a middle middle piece right here. So this middle one will always be somewhere here or somewhere here. If it's here, you just want to move it in up to the top and then we can just keep going. So this middle one, you want to attach a corner to it. This corner can be attached if I do this. And luckily that also attached this one. So that's pretty nice. This one cannot be moved. You cannot move it. There's no way to move it here or here without a commutator. So this is going to have to be two commutators to solve. So we can just insert all of these pieces into here like this. Now we are just left with two commutators. And there we go. For this next one, we see these three pieces for our middle bar and then these two. So we can just attach them together like this. And that luckily paired this together. So we don't have to worry about our second bar. So we'll just insert it like this. And then I'll take advantage of these, but these ones I want to get into there. But first we'll do this one. So we'll do it like this. Do an M, U2, M prime, or sorry, just M prime U2 M. <laughs> and then I want to get these in here so that I can, I can get this one into here now. And then solve this bar. Now we have this five by five case. So to do this, these two need to make them like this and then this, and then you do this. That'll give you this. And now we can attach this one to it. And then we can attach this one to this. And there we go. Now we just need to insert. And now we need to do the last bar. So over here, we see that we already have the corner here, the middle one and this all attached to it, except for this one. And this one, because it's on the side here, there's no way that we can get it in. So this is actually the most we can reduce to. And now we just need to insert all of these pieces, all four of these pieces into here. And now we've reduced to one commutator. There we go. For this next one, I'm going to give you an example of starting with this bar instead of the middle one. So this one's already solved. For example, if you had this in a solve, I would like to take advantage of this. The way that I can do this is just start making the bars next to it. This one, and I see these four pieces and this one can go into here, right here, like this. And now 
I'll just insert it into here. That probably wasn't very efficient because I can just insert it like this. Now, the next thing you could do is uh, you could just make this bar. Because I, I got lucky here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make these ones. So this corner needs to attach with this. And then I'll insert it into here. And then we have to reduce to two commutators using all of this. So that might be a little bit difficult. So now I'm going to solve as many pieces as I can. So these can all go in here at once like that. And now this might be a little bit more challenging. So we want to reduce to two commutators and we have three here. So this is not ideal. And what I can do is just move this up and then think of this as a five by five case. So the way that I would solve this five by five case is by doing this. That will move this over here. And now we can just, uh, we're gonna have to mess up this one. That might be a little bit unfortunate or you can insert it like that and then have two commutators, which isn't as good. And it would have been better just to, this is why it's not a good idea to just solve from left to right. Usually you would do the middle one and then you would go left and then right, but this works. So now it's two commutators and we can solve them both. If you enjoyed this video or this video helped you, please like and sub and also bye.